When it comes to building a wood mice or portable sawmill, we start with quality and end with quality. And as most people understand, a good piece of machinery is made up of only the best parts. That's why our raw steel comes from some of the largest and most respected companies in the United States. Using some of the most advanced CNC laser cutting equipment, sheets of metal are cut with precision and planning. Technical operators program and run these sophisticated machines, which cut out various pieces that are important in the sawmill design. While the sheet metal is being processed, other parts are being cut, machined, turned, and bent in preparation for their place on the sawmill. The necessary sawmill pieces are taken to the welding department to be stored at point of use. There are four main areas for welding. The sawmill head, the sawmill head subassemblies, the sawmill bed, and the sawmill bed subassemblies. Woodmiser is proud that all of our welders are AWS certified. Whether they are putting together the smallest sawmill bed or the largest sawmill head, every weld is accurate and consistent. With each blast of heat, the sawmill starts to come together. The next stop is the wash bay. Using high pressure water, each and every piece is thoroughly washed and rinsed. The washing operator takes his time to make sure every inch is clean and ready for paint. He even dries the units off with an air hose so they are not touched by human hands. Now it's time to get ready for the orange. The sawmill head pieces and the bed units are rolled into the paint booth by the painter. He works his way up, down, and across each unit, applying a coat of primer first and then the recognizable wood miser orange. Working with electrostatic painting technology, his ultimate goal is to have good coverage and a smooth finish. The electrical assemblers pay close attention to the wiring details. These technicians put together all the wiring harnesses and cabling needed for the hydraulic sawmills. There are three assembly stations for the sawmill head. First, the basic components of the head are assembled. The second head assembly station inspects and prepares the engine for mounting. In the third and final assembly area, the wiring components are standing. Here the assembly crew installs the electronic controls onto the head. In order for the sawmill head to do its job, it has to be united with the bed. So the crew working at the bed assembly station prepares the sawmill bed. Depending on what model sawmills are being built, the men working at this position are also responsible for installing the hydraulic lines, wiring, trailer axle, and wheels. When the fundamentals of the bed are in place, then it's ready to receive the head. The installers place the sawmill head on the sawmill bed and guide it down the monorail and back. Then they go to work hooking up the wiring, checking hoses, installing the outriggers, fenders, and other final touches. A final test of the hydraulics and a double check inspection makes sure everything is in order before the team starts to package up the mill for delivery. When the mill is completed, it's rolled out of the building by hand and hauled to the mill lot. It won't be long before the mill heads to its next destination, a customer's home.